we spoke before, you, you spoke about um, how entrepreneurial they were. And I, I think I remember you telling me a story. Like oh, before yes. Before they were into games. Yes. They used to sell, was it butterflies? Yes, before they started writing they games. <laughs> Four <laughs> games. Um, when, when, near the um, house we have in, in Trowbridge, we still live in the same house, um, there used to be a bird garden there. And in the bird road garden, bird garden was, was... Yeah, road bird garden. And in that bird garden, they had a butterfly colony, looked after by what they called the butterfly man. And they got the bug, <laughs> literally, for they used to get, butterflies. Yeah, and they used to go along and say, can we go and have a see the butterfly man so they didn't used to get charged to go into road bird garden they would cycle they would cycle down about four miles down to this little bird bird garden they'd go in and they'd let them through the gate they wouldn't charge them we'd just come to see the butterfly man we're going to buy a few more chrysalis and they came out with three chrysalis is this big and they said they were going to breed moon moths so they only had three i said don't you know if they're boys or girls so they said you shake them which we thought was quite amusing. That's what they were, that's what they were talking <laughs> But it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, they did bring some moon moths. And they were entrepreneurial. They found that there was a magazine going for people, I can't remember those biological um, botanical names for, for, for these things, but anything to do with spiders and butterflies and insects, there was a magazine going and they would advertise in that magazine. And they would sell them by mail order, and they would also take them to school and sell them to the pupils there at school. So they they learned. It was built that great big old hut and built yes, that great big cage. I don't know what there. the neighbours thought because they had a great big blue lamp. Well, they had a you a big that attracted lamp the butterflies to attract the moths and things. But we didn't evening, get any because <laughs> <laughs> mm. this were, was what, before the video. Eight or nine. Eight or nine no, years of age. Well, they, no, they were nine when we moved to that house. Oh, right. nine or ten. Nine or ten. It was the first year or two that we moved. Yeah, they did was, this. Yeah, we were still in a junior school. Bird, uh, bird world and so on. So, yes, they were quite entrepreneurial. But remember, Philip was always the businessman. He was really the one with the entrepreneurial spirit. Andrew was the technical man. He loved to write games. They both loved to write games. Yeah, they but so well to they did then diverge in their um, attention when it started to become a business. They realised that with two of them, one can concentrate, <laughs> one can con concentrate on, on the business side of things and one can concentrate on the technical side of things and the production of the games. And that's how it is to this day. Yeah, they fence one another, it it ideas off of one another all the time. Um, Andrew um, is, the, is the technical director for the company and he often sits out in the uh, office, a big open plan office. They've got 110 people, I think it is at the moment. And Philip has an office, which I think he shares with Richard, doesn't he? Who's there, who was their um, ex-brother-in-law and who's the finance director. And uh, they deal with the contracts and finance and the, and the business side of things. So it works extremely well. And we think a lot of the success of their business has been the fact that they're twins, they work very well together, they know each other's minds, and they have become a sort of synonymous, really, with this sort of genre of games. Adventure games with a maze, with some skill in trying to find out and uh, not only have an adventure, but to be masterful at finding things and doing things, working out things. And you've heard them talk.